anti-Goulart demonstrations that greeted the now-deposed Brazilian president at Miami airport when he was en route to take office in 1961 show the deep distrust that has finally led to his downfall and exile in Uruguay. Groups had to be called out in Brasilia to quell the bitter protests of thousands against the notoriously left-leaning João Goulart's taking office. But as elected vice president under Janio Quadros, he legally succeeded him. A Russian trade show in Rio de Janeiro gave President Goulart, who paradoxically is a millionaire rancher, a chance to hobnob with some of his Soviet heroes. But it was his sympathies with nearer at hand Fidel Castro that the Brazilians really feared. Riotings against Goulart were frequent, yet when the end of his regime came, it was through a brief and bloodless military coup. What his successors can do with the almost totally wrecked economy he leaves behind him is a matter of concern to the entire Western Hemisphere.